conversion look like? Maybe that's something you're thinking about. You say, well, I've, I've prayed that prayer that you mentioned and I've, I've become a Christian. I, I believe I've set out on this road to be in relationship with God. What kinds of things should I expect that to involve immediately? What will God do with me now that I've given him free reign over my life? Well, there are four dynamics or processes that are involved in becoming a Christian as described in the Bible and played out in Christian experience. The first is repentance. This means literally turning around, of changing direction, of changing the way you think and the way you see things. Now, I know when I became a Christian, when I caught a glimpse of Jesus properly for the first time, I suddenly also caught a glimpse of my own life and realised that it wasn't as pretty as I thought it was. And I realised there were several things I was quite ashamed of, actually. That's called a conviction of sin. That's what happens when God gets close to us. We begin to see ourselves a bit more clearly. And the conviction of sin leads to repentance. And that means taking steps to change your old life, of, of saying goodbye to it, of cutting yourself off from it in order to, to move into a new life. And that can mean some practical things for us. Saying sorry for things we've done wrong or forgiving others who've wronged us. It can mean um, deleting unhelpful numbers on your phone, of, of drawing a line under adulterous relationships, for example. It might mean throwing away bottles of alcohol if that's something you struggle with. It might mean downloading an accountability app or software on your phone or computer. It might mean putting a stop to gossip. Whatever it is, it will be different for each of us, but we need to take action. That's what repentance is, seeking to live a new life with the strength that God gives you to do that. The second dynamic is to put your faith in Christ Jesus. Not only are we turning away from the old life, but we're turning towards Jesus and we're seeking to live the Jesus life, of putting into practice uh, his teachings, of seeking to live by faith, of trusting him in our circumstances, and not seeking to do things in our own strength, but looking to him to help us. That's that wonderful thing of faith. And a life of faith is deeply enriching as we take risks for Jesus, as we step out with him. It's uh, life in all its fullness. The third step is being baptised in water. And this reflects the first two we've already mentioned because it's about saying goodbye to the old life and saying hello to the new life. It's a, a, a dramatic symbol where somebody is dunked into water as a symbol of being washed of, of sin, of having the old life taken away, of dying to that old life and of rising to a new life in the resurrection power of Jesus who himself died and rose again. And so if you have become a Christian, baptism is something you want to think about. In the Bible, if someone becomes a Christian, they get baptised. So it is today and I'd really encourage you to think about that. The fourth uh, dynamic or process is receiving the Holy Spirit. That's when the very life of God comes to live within you. We can't live this Christian life on our own. The Apostle Paul in the New Testament says, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And God does that by his spirit. He enters into our lives. He becomes like a fountain of life and love within us by his Holy Spirit. And that's a wonderful thing, a wonderful experience. And we'd love for you to uh, encounter the Holy Spirit. And so that's something we'd work through with you in this process of being baptized. Um, we'd really encourage you to get in touch about these things. We, we explore these things in one of our, our baptism courses and we have a series of sessions that look at repentance, faith in the Lord Jesus, um, being baptised in water and receiving the Holy Spirit. We'd love to unpack that with you as you see your life transformed before your very eyes. And so be in touch.